All right, let's bring in our guest. He was the fourth overall pick of the 2023 NFL Draft and immediately stepped in as the Indianapolis Colts starting quarterback. We went on to become the youngest player in NFL history to record a rushing and passing touchdown in the same game. Take that, Peyton Manning. Anthony Richardson, thanks for being here. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Anthony, this is, um, I don't think I'm breaking this news, but it sounds like you're going to be back to play against the Dolphins this week, right? Yes, sir. That's the plan. Beautiful. All right, so let's pretend I broke the news. That's good. That's good. Um, <laughs> do you have the first seven or so plays mapped out? And if you do, what are they? Oh, uh, we don't have them mapped out yet. You know, we're still game plan. They're still trying to master the plan, trying to study our opponent still. But, you know, we're we getting ready for this week. Okay, but you'll tell me when you when you do have that done. Yeah, right? yeah for sure, yeah. for sure. Okay, uh, so you guys, the Colts are very much in the mix right now. They're three and three. Um, Joe Flacco stepped in. And as the elder statement, have you been learning from him? Have you been learning anything uh, on the sidelines or just watching how he plays? Yes, of course. You know, uh, since day one, you know, I've been watching Joe. You know, Joe has been doing it for a long time. Um, so I always just try to watch him and, and see what he does. You know, he's a great guy, you know, and he's real chill. You know, I did not expect that from Joe, but, you know, uh, I definitely just appreciate just having him around in the building for sure. Did you learn anything outside of football from him, like about Seinfeld or Guns N' Roses or something? Uh, no, not really, but, you know, <laughs> Joe, Joe is a great storyteller. Uh, and most people don't know that he's a great storyteller. Really? Yeah, that's yeah. how the old men are. That's how we are. <laughs> um, actually, we, we joke, but he's 39, but he even laughed at the fact that your mom is only eight days older than him. Was your mom like, hey, why are we telling everyone my age? I don't want I don't want everyone to know this. Or did she get a kick out of it? No, nah, I don't. I don't think she. Uh, she had any type of comment on it. You know, okay. I guess she was just more so um, happy to be a, a part of the conversation with Joe Flacco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? Now the twenty twenty three draft included you and C J Stroud, who's also in your division. Obviously, is there a rivalry between the Colts and Texans? You think that maybe didn't exist before you got there? Um. I wouldn't necessarily say a rivalry, but there's definitely, you know, some 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 bad blood right there, you know. Oh, uh, good. I yeah, like a lot that. of competition right there. So, you know, that's that's that. So you were ready to come out of college after just 13 starts, right? You were 20 years old. And there are guys now playing 24, 25. Cam Rising is eligible to play next year. He's going to be 26. What do you think about guys being in the college ranks at 26 years old? Uh, you know, shout out to them. You know, uh, they still got the opportunity to go out there and ball out and play football. You know, they're extending their career, you know, for a, a decent amount of time. You know, so shout out to them. Uh, right. I feel like college football is fun. You know, I feel like they're enjoying it. So, yeah. Yeah, but they have a lot of them have like gray sideburns and they're attending keg parties. That that could uh, get a little weird. It's right? all good, man. I got some gray hairs popping. <laughs> oh, out you do? Too, okay. So it's okay. <laughs> what did you, what's your opinion? I mean, I guess, you know, you're, you're going to probably say, yeah, I like the way I did it. I came out as soon as I can. But what would you say is ideal for uh, how many games? A player should have under his belt before he comes out. No, I don't think there's a number uh, that you yeah. can put on it. You know, honestly, I feel like if it's if that's best for your situation, you feel like you want to better yourself and, and take advantage of the opportunity. I say go for it. Uh, I don't think there is a number you should put on it. You know, because I only played 13 uh, games, well, started 13 games in college. Uh, some people would say I, I did it a little too early, but you know, I trust the God and I trusted the process and know I did what I thought was best for me. There you go. And when you came out, what jumped out at you? I know a lot of players say the speed jumps out. Was it the speed of the players in the pro level? Or was it the size? Maybe the smell? I don't even know. What, what would it be? <laughs> uh, I would definitely say the speed, man, because yeah. I did not expect every single person on the field to be fast. You know, um, so that's that was definitely an adjustment I had to make. But, you know, now I know that everybody's fast, so I got to play fast. It's funny coming from the SEC in Florida. You probably you widely regarded as the fastest conference. I would say I don't think there's a, lo a lot of argument with that. So you might have thought, eh? Did you think for a second like, oh, but we're good. We're from SEC. We got all these Southern teams, and a lot of these pros come from there. So did it give you like a false, false sense of hope in a way? Yeah, it definitely did. Because uh, most of the time you hear like the SEC is just like the NFL. You yeah. Know? I can agree with that to a certain extent, but once you get that first practice with the vets in the NFL, it's like, 
Man, the SEC has nothing on this. <laughs> so stay in the SEC if you're not ready. No, well, you you did a great job adjusting. Anthony, you know, in the last segment, I gave away a free 50-inch television, a flat screen, to okay. a listener or viewer who showed their terrible television setup on Sundays. Do you remember growing up, a friend or a relative, maybe having a, a an underwhelming viewing situation? Maybe it was you. Um, I would say uh, my friends and I, you know, um, yeah. Yeah, you summers and uh sometimes, you know, we, we watch basketball on our phones, you know, in the bleachers. You know, we was in the small screen, it's like ten of us just surrounded by on the phone <laughs> watching basketball games. Uh so I, I'll probably say that's a not a great setup right there. So you're at a basketball game watching basketball on your phone also? Oh yeah, for sure, man. Ball is life, man. You gotta appreciate it. That's great. And then you maybe when you're reacting to the game on your phone, it might not uh, gel with what's going on on the court in front of you, right? You yeah, get some looks. Not, not at all. Not at all. Sometimes <laughs> you get people shooting free throws and you're they're screaming because somebody's got a dunk, man. So I you got to read, read the room. Anthony, over the summer, your back tattoo, you still have it, right? <laughs> it went viral. Yeah, I think I do. I can't really see it, but yeah. I think it's still there. <laughs> I can see that being a problem. It's very impressive. I was staring at it today. I mean, just online, not the actual <laughs> tattoo. Um, did this take the entire off season to accomplish? It looked like it was a. Uh, it really uh, took a while. Not, not the entire off season, but <laughs> it took an entire day for sure. <laughs> it did. I like the four aces. Are you a casino guy? Nah, man, I, I just, you know, applied it uh, to my own knowledge. You know, I feel like life is a gamble. You know, sometimes you got to you gotta take a risk, you know, got to play the game in life. So that's why I got that. What hurt more, being sacked? Your first sack you took in the NFL or getting these tattoos done? Uh, definitely the tattoos for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to convince Joe Flacco to get a tattoo or is that he's just too busy telling stories to get in? Uh, I have not tried, but now that you mentioned it, you know, that's going to be the first thing I ask them in the morning. So thanks for that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go after that. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious <laughs> about this, Anthony. We hear players complain about their Madden ratings a lot, uh, even more so than where they were drafted in fantasy football. If I was a player, I would be mad if my fantasy draft position was like, what, third round? Are you kidding me? You took more. But I feel like the players now, it's more Madden than anything. Your speed is 91. Your throw power, I looked it up, was 96. Were you happy with those numbers? Mm, 91 speed, you know, you can't beat that. If they give me right. a 91 speed just off the rip, you know, that's a blessing right there. Yeah. So I definitely like that. And then throw power, 96, that's not bad, you know. Um, I feel like it could be a little higher, but I, I like that. Are there players on the team who are more competitive uh, than you about this kind of thing? Oh, yeah, for sure. Man, you got some bad and ghouls on the team, man. But I'm not one of those guys. So. No. I feel like because we come across a bunch, and I feel like if it could be determined in contract negotiations, like if, you know, if the GM said, hey, let's, I know someone on the Madden committee. We can get your speed up to 94 if you just play ball here. I feel like they would take that deal instead of compensation. Yeah, for sure. I feel like some guys would definitely like their, their ratings to be a little higher just so they can beat their friends at the game, man. So why not take advantage of that? Right. <laughs> right now I have a question that you've never been asked before, all right? Okay. I'd almost bet my life on it. And we call this segment Cousins Conundrum. Cousins Conundrum. Are you ready? Okay, I think I'm ready. All right, Anthony. All right, you come back this week, right? The Colts go on a run. You win a Super Bowl. You take home a title for the city of Indianapolis, but... Here's the price you pay. You have to take on a physical trait of a former Colts quarterback for the rest of your life. So here's the choice. Mm -hmm. You have the Super Bowl title, but you're either stuck with Peyton Manning's forehead or Andrew Luck's legendary Civil War bushy beard. Which deal do you take? Oh, uh, wait, do I get to like line the beard up or anything? I think so. What does that mean? J just a shape, like, a, like craft it a little bit? Yeah, like make it look, make it look presentable. I think so, but it, it's, yes, it yes, you can make close. it look presentable, but it, it is it is what it is, as much as it could be for. Man, as much as I love both of these guys, I might just have to take Peyton Manning's forehead, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I so just, just to see something new, you know, because I feel like I, I see enough facial hair on, on myself right now, so maybe with a bigger forehead, I might look a little different, so I might, I might want to, you know, test that out. Gotcha. Yeah, and you have, and you wear a hat also, so that takes care of a lot of it. You can't really cover the beard, right? Unless you have like a, a scarf or something. Yeah. Tell us what's going on with Dairy Queen, with DQ. You know, shout out to DQ, you know, for having me and my guy Jonathan Taylor today. 
And we had the amazing opportunity to go out there in front of some fans, you know, throw some chicken around, put some sauce on them. They got some new flavors, honey barbecue and garlic parmesan. I would suggest that most people go try it because the chicken is actually pretty good. So uh, that was that, man. We had a blast today. Nice. Did you grow up near a DQ? Did they have them down south? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, yeah. They, they definitely got them down yeah. south. You know, yeah. my mom, my mom didn't let me eat sweets too too much, but whenever I did get some Dairy Queen, it was definitely you no know, gotcha. top tier. And so, all right, you go out there this Sunday, you beat the Dolphins, and take the whole team out to DQ, much like you know Pop Warner after a game, right? Hey, why not? I'm all I'm all for the you know, camaraderie right there. <laughs> all right, thanks so much, Anthony. I really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.